In early 1940, a group of engineers at North American Aviation in Southern California sat at their drafting tables with pencils and slide rules in hand and started designing a new fighter aircraft. Just 120 days later, they test flew the prototype of their creation, the P-51 Mustang. The Mustang was fitted with a unique sounding Rolls-Royce engine and became what is considered to be the best propeller-driven fighter of all time. It had it all, power and speed, range, altitude and maneuverability, the qualities needed to escort bombers over Germany in World War II, protect them from the Luftwaffe and return safely to their bases in England and Italy. That airplane was the X, X is for experimental, XP-51. That plane became one of the best, if not the best, all-around fighter plane of the prop era. Uh, the P-51 and its pilots helped change the direction of World War II as they escorted bombers over Europe and destroyed Luftwaffe fighters. One of the pilots who flew the Mustang was Bud Anderson. Today, he is the highest ranking living American fighter ace with 16 and a quarter air victories in the skies over Europe. After the war, Anderson became a test pilot at Wright Field in Ohio and what later became Edwards Air Force Base. One of the planes he flew in test was the XP-82, an attempt to make the P-51 into two P-51s. Anderson is quoted as saying, quote, the thinking back then was, well, if one Mustang was great, let's put two together, it's gotta be better, unquote. Well, that didn't work out. Maybe a good idea, but that's why design ideas turn into test flight. What works and what doesn't, what test flight is all about. Tom Riley is a master restorer of this XP-82. Ray Fowler is a master pilot. He has flown three tours in the F-16 in Iraq and Afghanistan and flew the XP-82. He can and does fly almost, if not all, of the airplanes parked here at EAA.